LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, so uh, we're going to show you how to insert your keys onto your keyboard. And we're going to start out with a regular size key. So we're going to use the H for that. Now, you can see that on the keyboard there's metal hooks. Um, there's two small ones at the bottom and two larger ones on the sides. Now, this one over here is bent up. It's not uh, flat like this one is. And even this one isn't 100% flat. It has a space in between the keyboard and there's a little space in between it. So. Um, you have to look at the different key areas also because these two that in this case are at the bottom they can go to the top or maybe the sides also so the position for those um, metal hooks on the keyboard itself determine the position for the hinges now we're going to uh, insert this piece in first this is the first of four hinges and you can see that it's like a U a bar a vertical bar to the left then a horizontal one and then a, uh, another one at the right so make sure not to put this upside down like this because it looks the same but if you look carefully or you can just feel the, the vertical bars if you feel there's a gap in between those uh, that faces away from the keyboard and if you feel it's one smooth piece that faces and touches the keyboard so uh, let's go ahead and these two bottom hooks are going to grab onto the horizontal bar and the other ones are going to grab onto the vertical bars so put the horizontal bar underneath those small hooks first then you want to hold that in place so that uh, with your other hand, I use a blade actually, with your other hand you can uh, just push, you know, bend those vertical bars underneath those hooks. If you have one of those hooks bent, you can just, uh, you know, bend it back in place on top of the, the hinge like that so it can grab onto the hinge itself. Now, we're going to click the other three hinges together to make one piece. So we're going to start out with this, and you can see it has um, two pins at the top. Now make sure not to put it upside down like this by feeling the entire top side. If you feel, I mean, you feel the entire hinge really. If you feel that the uh, top half is thinner than the bottom half, that faces away from the keyboard. If you uh, if you see that it's it's only a little gap in uh, here in the middle uh, that faces and touches the keyboard, right? So get this piece, put it down in the right position for now, and get the this piece here. Now this piece has two pins uh, that are closer to the top and you can see it has it's kind of laying down on the top and bottom part of it so it's like an arch uh... you want it to go like an N pretty much not like a U as far as you know it's the arch is going to be laying down on the top and bottom corner as opposed to laying down on its you know the uh... larger part of it so 
uh, we're going to insert this this piece here in the very bottom fittings that are on that other piece. So just go ahead and insert that vertically like this. Then you just lay it down on top of it. Now both pieces are one. We're going to get the third piece, which is this white one over here. And this piece has two pins at the bottom. And make sure not to put it upside down like this by feeling the entire area. If you feel there's an, a little gap in the middle here that faces and touches the keyboard. Um, so this is the right position for it. Now we're going to put wrap this white one around the black one but it goes specifically in the two gaps here and over here so do the left side first just like that and then uh, you keep that in place Let's see I can't really get it alright once you have that side in hold it in place and you want to get the other piece can't even get this piece in yet alright so that's how it's supposed to look like now we're going to do the other side so we grab onto this side so it doesn't come out and just wrap it around like that now you put the white pin in the uh, fitting that's at the very bottom here and then the top black pin are going to go into the other fittings that are over here and here. So go ahead and do that. Do the left side first. Once you have one of those sides in, you uh, want to move over to the other side. Actually, there. So the white pin doesn't go at the very, very bottom fittings. It goes to the fittings that are in the middle. Uh, I forgot to put the rubber cup in there, but uh, after that, you just you do the rubber cup first, then you do the hinges, and finally you do the key cap. You put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. And same thing goes for the large uh, keys. All you got to do is put clip the uh, metal wire onto the top of the key cap and then put the wire underneath the hinges like that and click the uh, keycap onto the hinges same thing with the uh, space bar this is the right position for it click the, the uh, metal wire at the top there flip it over, put it on the right side open up the wire and put the wires underneath this section and under that, uh, underneath that section after that, you just click your keycap onto the hinges. That's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.